In this video, I'll break down how to create some really cool Instagram hooks in Final Cut Pro 11. So here is the video clip right here. This is just without any of the effects, which is a very basic uh, video clip. Now the first thing to do is go ahead and add some text effects. So what I did was I put markers next to each one of the words. So if I unmute the volume, you can see I have the words right here. So if I play it, so I have three and then, so I went ahead and kind of went through and made sure I kind of like located where each word is said. Now you can also select on this clip right here and you could also go to this tool right here and, and transcribe to captions. So if I go ahead and click on transcribe to captions, you'll actually be able to create your own captions. Now it's not like as good as like some other captions. So you see the captions right here, they're really small. You could go ahead and create a new text layer. So for example, I can go ahead and let's just say we'll select on this, click on control T to create like a new text layer that's obviously going to be really long so we can go ahead and just shorten uh, this text layer by using the trim tool now i could theoretically go into the captions right here so i could select on this caption right here so here are three final cut must and then no obviously they, they messed up a little bit but i could technically just select on this captions click on copy and paste or, or copy the captions go into this text section right here go over here and i could just simply just paste the text so now we can kind of like edit it as an actual graphic and then so there you go now we have it into the actual text layer and then i could simply delete the captions i mean it's just a little bit easier than going through and kind of figuring out which words are said we could select on this text layer and go ahead and just press the return key we can you know adjust the actual size and move it down so now it's an actual like text layer so you don't necessarily have to do that i mean I like using the, tra the transcribe to captions tool because it just saves you a lot of time instead of having to go through and retype and type out all the words. It kind of just creates it off for you. So that's just a very simple and easy way of doing it. So if you want to add captions, I also have a whole video breaking down how to add captions too. But that's just a very simple uh, way to do. But I'm going to do it word for word. And unfortunately, Final Cut doesn't really give you that option. We can do individual letters. It's more just kind of like, as you can see, just a whole like uh, text layer. So, but that's just like a nice tip to know. So I'm going to go ahead in this case, just delete this text layer and I'm going to do it individually word by word. So again, unmute it so we can go ahead and actually hear the audio. So I already have markers here, but as you can see, so so it says three right here. So what you do is kind of go frame by frame and kind of wait till the actual like peak in the audio. And then by placing a mark, all you do is just so we go over here, click on M on your keyboard and now you have a marker. So it's just a very good way of keeping track of everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the playhead right here. And again, click on control T to bring up a text layer. Now, because we want this to stack on top of each other, we're gonna make sure this ends exactly where this clip ends right here and click on the, um, the option. Uh, right bracket or left bracket or trim, but we can select this text layer. We can go in here, here and go ahead and just click on three. So we can obviously type in whatever you want. Now, a couple text effects I like, uh, just some tips and tricks. Go to the font right here, and you can change the font to whatever you want. So let's do, for example, I like flat brush. So we can go ahead and just crank up the actual size of the text. Now we can go through and mess with a whole bunch of other stuff. We can go to the face and just change the color to kind of more of like a yellow color. So as you can see, there we go with a yellow color. We'll change the color to yellow. I like going to the drop shadow. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and um, increase the size so we can kind of see what's happening. So if I select this text layer, I'm gonna bring down the show. And what I like to do is take the, the opacity, bring it all the way up, and then I'll just adjust the distance. So as you can see, there you go. Now you have this really nice uh, drop shadow on the text. So what I have to do is head over here to view and I'll turn on the safe zones and then I'll also turn on the show horizon just so we have some nice guides on the screen. Now we can select in this text and let's go ahead and select over here. We're gonna increase the scale. So we're gonna take the three and let's say you wanna move the three over here and then move it something like that. We'll put three right here. Now I'll only do like a couple other text layers just for the sake of the draw. I'm not gonna go through and do every single text layer. So we can go ahead over here. So three, and this is gonna be must know. So we can go ahead and play right here. So make sure you have the right text. So we'll put a must and we're gonna go ahead and just simply take this text layer and then hold down the option key. And then we can go ahead and trim this and then head over here and we can go ahead and change the text. So we can go ahead and you know put in the caps locks and then type in must. So let's say we wanna decrease the size of this to something else. And let's say for example, let's say we wanna change the color. So head over to show and then we wanna change the color to more of like a white color. I think that looks a little bit uh, better. We can also change the font to uh, the font to just give it a little more diversity. But let's head over here and then we can go ahead and just decrease the scale and put it something like that. Put it, make sure you wanna have it in the safe zones 
and then let's say we want to put it up here and something like that. Now you can go ahead and keep repeating those steps. I'm not going to just for the sake of the tour. I don't want to go through and do every individual text layer because it'll, you know, it'll just, just for the sake of the tour, I'm just going to do two text layers. So you just keep repeating uh, that process for every individual text layer. Now let's say for example, you want to see, it looks kind of weird. We want the subject actually like in front of the text. So let's go ahead now we can, because we already have the text, we can go ahead and just disable um, the overlays. So we can go ahead and select on this video clip. All we want to do is hold down the option key and we're just going to duplicate this actual op uh, duplicate this clip. Let's go ahead and just meet the volume. We can go ahead and select on this clip, head over here to the volume tools. And in this case, we want to just uh, disable the, the audio because we don't want two audio tracks playing at the same time or else the volume is going to be a little too loud. So let's go ahead and select this bottom one, disable it because now we want to add like a magnetic mask. So we select this clip right here, head over here to the effects panel and let's scroll down till you find the category mass and keying. Now this is basically rotoscoping. It's only available in Final Cut Pro 11 or above. So it's basically it's just it's basically like After Effects rotoscoping in Final Cut. So take the magnetic mask and then just simply apply it onto this top clip. We can go ahead and disable. And actually, for this example, let's go ahead and just disable the text layer because it's going to be a little annoying to do both at the same time. Now all you simply want to do is just simply select on your subject. So there we go. So we just simply select on the subject and now we can go ahead and add points and add whatever you want. Now you can also head over here to the subtraction tool so we can zoom in to like 150. And let's say for example, I mean I think it did a pretty good job. So as you see, so we can go ahead and either, either add points, we could subtract and maybe get a fine tune. You know, we can go ahead, let's just kind of see what this does. I think that does a pretty good job. So you can see, so you're either subtracting or you're adding to the mask. And I think overall that looks pretty good. So either use the plus, the minus tool or the plus tool. And then once you're done, we can go ahead over here to fit. And once you're the subject, you know, isolated, let's go me back to the plus tool and add another point right here. I think that looks pretty good. Can you keep messing with it? I think overall that looks pretty good. Then we can go ahead and just simply click on analyze. Now Final Cut is going to cut me out. So now we can place text or graphics behind me just to make it look even cooler. So now as you see, it's really quick, it's really fast. All we can do is click on done and there you go. Now you have the subject completely like masked out. You can also head over here and go to the magnetic mask and adjust the feather if you want to feather it a little bit. That's you know completely up to you. So we go ahead and enable the bottom clip now we can actually place text behind it. So let's go ahead and enable the actual like uh, text layers right here and kind of figure out what we want. So let's, for example, let's say we want must behind the subject. So we want this on top. Now we're gonna take the must and we're gonna go ahead and drag it in between the two clips. And then as you can see, see just as simple as that. Now you have placed the text behind me. So we go ahead and play it. This is what it looks like now. And as you can see, the text pops up, but that text actually goes in behind me. And again, you would just keep repeating those steps, either placing the text on top of me, or you can go ahead and place it behind you. So you kind of just go vice versa. And if I scroll over, as you can see, see here's the finished product. See how some of the text is like on in front of me. And then while some of the text is behind me. So you can see, you can go ahead and just mess with the different text layers and stack them on top of each other. And just figure out which look, you know, just go through kind of mess with it and figure out what looks good. So you can see, I just kind of mess with the different text layers and I thought that overall I think that looked created a pretty cool look. Now let's say you want to add some really nice animation to the beginning of the video. So you can see if I play it right here there's no like zoom out animation so it still looks really cool but let's say we want to make it look even more dynamic. If I head over here to the titles and generators tab and I go to my IG starter pack now this is for sale on my website winkinsmedia.com we can simply drag the camera zoom on top of the clip and drag it to the beginning and we can mess with it. Now if you don't want to purchase this pack you could either use like an adjustment layer or just simply select on your clip and then let's say you want to start the scale at 350 percent and just keyframe it for like three or four frames to go from like 350 to back to 100 percent so you don't necessarily have to buy this plugin you can just simply create this effect by simply keyframing the scale so you can see we go ahead like increase at 350 place a keyframe go forward a couple frames and then reset it back and that's basically this little icon right here is how you add any kind of keyframe so if you want to just do it that way or if you want to go ahead and purchase a pack it's completely up to you now let's go ahead and select on this actual camera zoom we want to just trim it just to this section now what I would also encourage you to do is any don't place the camera zoom and under the magnetic mask because it's going to be really laggy so we don't go ahead and select on this magnetic mask right here and we'll go ahead and just trim this because we don't want the camera zoom to be on top of the magnetic mask because it's going to be really laggy so we go ahead and play right here we're going to select on this camera zoom 
Now in this case, we're gonna go ahead and just disable the build out because we don't want to zoom back in. We just want that zoom out animation and we'll wait for Final Cut Pro to render. And then as you can see, as simple as that, now you've added this really cool like zoom out animation. So if I play it right here, you have this nice zoom out animation, some text effects, and there you go, just as simple as that. And then you just keep taking all those steps and just re keep repeating them. And now you've created this really cool like Instagram hook in Final Cut. And that is how you create some really cool Instagram hooks in Final Cut Pro 11, along with my IG starter pack. Again, it is for sale on my website, winkinsmedia.com. You don't necessarily need it to create Instagram hooks, but it just makes your life a lot easier. And if you enjoy watching these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.